Hey, what's up, everyone? Same time gaming here. Welcome back from the Division 2 video. Well, guys, this is where at the time I'll show you the season rewards for the new seasons. Actually, not new, it's an old season getting revamped, but for new players and returning players, this is, uh, you know, a new season basically. Um, but before I get started, I want to show you something about the season. Uh, a lot of people actually ask a question about this, they kind of get confused. So I'll try to be as simple as possible. I'm not really feeling well. So let me just show you this thing. Uh, again, this is called Seasons uh, 8. This is Season 8, but it's not. It's an old season getting revamped. Don't get confused by that. Wait, what do we have? Oh, that's a bug. Okay, that's a bug. Look at that. Zero, zero. Okay, that's a bug. And it starts from here, right? Yep, it starts from here. We got the Target Termite. We have the Termite League and Hollywood Global Event. And all these targets and global events and stuff like that. But I'm not, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to show you the rewards track, which is right here. And this is where a lot of people kind of get confused by it. That do I have to spend money to get these seasons and stuff like that? It's half true because uh, the first, the top tier here, it's completely free if you own Warlords of New York expansion. And obviously you have to buy, <clears throat> you have to buy the Warlords of New York uh, expansion. So if you, uh, you know, if you bought the Warlords of New York expansion, then the top tier is free. But the bottom tier is where you have to spend money. It's like $10 or something like that. You have to spend money to unlock the bottom tier, which is this green tier. As you can see, I can't access it because... I'm not stupid enough to buy this thing, seriously. Uh, but this gives you, uh, you know, outfits and some named item caches, some additional um, exotic caches and stuff like that. If you're interested on that, you can buy it, but I wouldn't recommend it. And the top one is completely free. And this is where you actually get those exotic weapons, the exclusive ones, if you haven't got them. So you can get it from here. Uh, so that's completely free. Like I said, if you have Warlords of New York expansion, the top tier is free for you. Okay. I, all you have to do is just play and level up and get your rank to like 100 and every time you level, level up you get these rewards now speaking of rewards what we got here is walker harris uh mask we have the gloves we have the holster and then we have the sig 556 uh assault rifle then we have the walker harris knee pads we have the walker harris mask blueprint we have the chest piece of walker harris a backpack of the Walk walker harris as well we have the seasons 2 keener's legacy cash which uh, this contains the current season's items and materials, which this season, obviously, uh, you get this uh, additional items from it. Next, we have um, Eclipse Protocol Mask. We have Walker Harris Gloves Blueprint, Eclipse Protocol Glove, uh, Holster of Eclipse Protocol. Then we have the uh, MK47 uh, Rifle. Uh, then we have this um, Eclipse Protocol Knee Pads, a Walker Harris Blueprint Holster. Uh, I mean, holster blueprint, yeah. Eclipse Protocol chest piece. We have Eclipse Protocol backpack. And then we have the Legacy she Season cache. Now, these Legacy uh, Season cache actually contains uh, previous season items. So if you have missed or maybe you wanted some previous season, uh, you know, named items or even the gear sets, uh, you can get it from here. Um, next, we have a blueprint of Walker Harris knee pads. We have Season 2 Legacy Cache. Um, then we have Legacy Cache. Don't get confused by these two Legacy Caches. This Season 2 Keener's Legacy Cache is the current uh, Legacy Cache, which is going to give you items from the current season. And this one's going to give you items from the previous season. I mean, it's literally written here. Um, then we have uh, Walker Harris Chess Piece Blueprint. Again, we have some Keener's Legacy Cache. We have Mechanical Animal, which is, I think, future uh, perfection talent uh, in this one. Every time you get a kill, you get that plus one skill tier, up to three skill tier. And then if you have already a six skill tier build, you get overcharged, something like that. All right, next we have Walker Harris Blueprint, Backpack Blueprint. We have Legacy Cache. We have Skinner's Legacy Cache. And uh, then we have a SIG 556 Blueprint here. Again, some more Legacy Caches. Uh, now, Metal Door. This is actually a really good one because this is a Dark Zone exclusive items. Uh, this backpack is a Dark Zone exclusive, the Metal Door. Uh, this one, I think it's a perfect... Um, I forgot the talent. Oh, no, come on, come on. Can't forget it. Is it clutch? No, no, that's devil's do. That's devil's do. Uh, is the is the adrenaline rush? Yes, it's the perfect adrenaline rush. Now I remember. Yeah, you will get perfect adrenaline rush from here. Um, next we have a uh, Eclipse Protocol uh, mask blueprint. We have more season legacy cash, uh, legacy cash here again, and then we have Eclipse Protocol gloves blueprint, uh, a patch here, uh, gear blueprint, uh, which is uh, Eclipse Protocol holster. Now, this one's kind of interesting here because, um, again, some people has asked me that they don't have some of the uh, manhunts, so they can't get the exclusive skills. Because, you know, every time there's a manhunt, there is an exclusive skill hiding behind that main uh, boss mission. Uh, so this one, again, the Jupiter manhunt, which is the Roosevelt Island, you will get unlocked 
permanently if you play the season it's on 53 level so all you have to do is go to the uh, manhunt location and just you know toggle the mission type uh, until you get the manhunt which will be glowing like yellow or something like that you're gonna get the manhunt mission directly you don't have to play the you know uh, the other uh, missions to unlock the manhunt anymore you can just directly go to the manhunt mission which is in this case is uh, roosevelt island you can go and uh, toggle the mission and you unlock it you play it you get the uh, exclusive skill item from that particular mission all right next we have the mantis this is a very good sniper as we all know i mean pretty much literally one of the best snipers in the game uh the mantis um i would still say my favorite is nemesis actually but mantis i've used a lot i've made a lot of build videos sniper build videos with the mantis as a solid uh you know maximum rifle if you don't have one yet there's your chance you can get it from this season's reward as a, a 55 rank if you level up to 55 you'll get mantis all right next we have um knee pads of the eclipse protocol blueprint uh, we have the yeah again more manhunt mission this is the fail out the camp white oak again go there toggle the mission until you get the manhunt once you reach level 58 you'll unlock it completely and you can play the mission to get the uh, exclusive skill from that particular manhunt next we have the named item caches always useful you can get their dark zone exclusive items from them uh next we have uh, uh eclipse protocol chest piece blueprint again more manhunt which is a schaefer manhunt from coney island do the same thing again uh you know uh to get that uh, just toggle it and uh, complete the mission get the skill Actually, on some missions, you don't even have to complete the mission. You can just get the skill and don't complete the mission, you know, if you want. And we have more Season Legacy Cache. Uh, next, we have a Backpack Blueprint here. And we have the Hornet uh, Manhunt here as well. It's kind of funny, though, because this is the guy here. Um, I don't know. I, <laughs> I have no idea what they're doing out there. Okay, then we have the Chain Killer, which is, again, a good chess piece, uh, you know, chain killer for the maximum rifle build the perfect headhunter talent uh can't be wrong with that always love this chest piece so get it if you don't have one next we have the blueprint of the mk47 here uh more legacy cash uh harmony rifle the perfectly in sync talent on this one so you can get it from here then we have seasons uh keener's legacy cash uh, we have the vile mask yes vile mask is actually very solid with the Eclipse Protocol and Vile, uh, you've probably seen, if you're a new player, you've probably seen some of those guys use uh, Eclipse Protocol with the Vile Mask. You know, it's a pretty solid one. And next, we have the Exotic Cache here at 95. And uh, uh, that's it. That's it. Yep. The Keener's uh, Legacy Hero um, patch here. So that's, that's pretty much the reward track. I mean, I would say just uh, play. Take your time. You don't have to rush it. If you want to rush it, you can rush it. But you don't really have to rush it that's basically it you know you just level up get the rewards uh, there are some good rewards for new players like the val mask uh, obviously the mantis uh, the chain killer and stuff like that uh, you can get all of these items in the open world uh, but hey the season is there which is literally free um the rewards so just level up and get it and if you want to know how you can level them up i would say the best way is to just uh, do convoys convoys will give you a lot of xp and you're going to level up very quickly otherwise just take your time just play the season will stay here for a, for a while i guess and um you can just you know level up and uh, get all the rewards so that's basically it for the video hope you guys will get what you're looking for and i will see you guys in the next one till then peace